Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, shapes and sizes, we're still here confabulating, and we're going to be talking about the if bomb. It's getting ready to fall. We got Casey, Moonshine Gang, we got Luke Rebel Without a Clue. Yep. Did you get that? Rebel Without a Clue? We got the Mailman. The Rebel. I'll be rubble after the bomb. Rubble. And we got rubble. our our <laughs> obstinate Yetika, our program manager who who says she's not going to come talk to us. Yeah, we want to enter this segment, but she says she's going to hold out. We'll see. We'll be talking about it. We're going to have drop the F bomb now, mm. and here she comes, y'all duck. Ooh, the lights flickered. Yowza. Yeah. We woke up the computer and everything's happening. <laughs> I don't heard a cat screaming outside. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, the F-bomb this week is, uh, well, we were talking about food a while yeah, ago, food. and somehow we're still talking about food. So let's carry it on. If, 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 if you had your own cooking show, one of them channels that just show people eating and cooking stuff or whatever, what would you call it? What would you cook? How would you direct it? How would you, uh, what would your themes be and stuff like that? What do you think you'd do there, Melman? Well, I don't think it would be Dry Bones. That wouldn't be a good name, would it? Dry Bones. Dry Bones. No, dry Bones. Get me the dry Bones. That wouldn't be good. No, so it would be watch something it. like Greasy Bones? Greasy. Well, that sounds better. You got, there, I know there's Fish Bones or Fish. You got a little meat in the bones. Fish Carcass. There's a restaurant name. What was that? Fish, fish carcass? carcass? Fish Carcass. That does sound very good. What is that? Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's a good part of there. Fish Bones? Is that what it is? Think so. Okay, well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that because that's already taken. What would it be? So it, it would be, um, you know what? I, I like I like Coney Islands. Coney. Yeah, but but, but maybe you can't do that many things with it. It could be Bony Coney. Bony Coney. That's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Coney, uh, um, Coney and Macaroni. Mel. We already have Mel. Mel's Diner. Diner. Mel's. Yeah. Mel's Unless Diner. I could buy the franchise. Mel's, Mel's Greasy Diner. Spoon. Perfect. Yeah. Mel's Diner? Okay. Mel's Dinner. Mel's dinner. There you go. You change the spelling that yeah, way. We'll get you for, yeah. What would you serve or not serve or cook or? No, 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 well, what yeah. would you have? I don't know. Let me pass the... Is there a ball? You pass huh. the ball? I thought y'all were ready to talk okay, about this. I would, I would have... <laughs> what would you call it first? A show called Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort. Southern It'd be Comfort. basically about Southern it, cooking. You drink, soul of course. Food. Sit around drinking shots you know, of stuff. A lot, a lot of people no. realize this. There's not a lot of difference between soul food. That's exactly and right. It's exactly not right. a lot of difference. A lot of the same thing. We, we, you know, if you, you know, you can eat lima beans and cornbread and some of the collard things, greens. And you got to be hard on it when you get into the chitlins. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's, that's where you step yeah. over the line. <laughs> you stepped over the line. But I think it, I'd like to have different guests come in that uh, specialize in a certain in cooking dish and, and you know and teach All other right. people and me how to cook that particular dish. I mean, because there's some things that. Uh, you know, the simple things sometimes are hard to cook. To get them just right. Yeah. Biscuits. That's are right. A simple, yeah. simple thing. But, but I made a lot of bad biscuits in my day. You ain't kidding? And, and it just like, and I hate to down Arcadia for this, but I, I'll keep saying it until somebody gets it right. There is nowhere in Arcadia to get a decent biscuit. Yeah. All right. Y'all heard it here. Y'all better get busy. And if you want to get plugged, yeah, <laughs> you bring your biscuit by the radio station over here on Monday. So we way to get some food. Here's your biscuit. But I've never, I've never. I mean, some of them aren't worth eating. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't use them to throw at dogs. I mean, I don't know what they're good for. Really. You got to put something on them to eat them. Bro. You do. You have to put butter, butter, or butter and jelly. Jelly. Good in the slingshot, maybe. Yeah. I could use. But a real good biscuit. I can make a good biscuit. Yeah. And I used to love watch my mother make biscuits because she had a big bowl. She'd make them in and. She didn't really measure. She just started throwing flour and brass with this and yeah, and snorting it out. And then That's she right. made a well and started pouring a little bit of buttermilk right. in there and pulling it all together. And wow! And you know, and I'll tell you the thing about biscuits Man. is you can overwork a biscuit. Yeah, like a do, pi- like a pie crust, you can yeah. over. You don't want to develop the yeah. glutens. The gluten. You just uh, say what. You don't want to develop the glutens. You develop your gluteus maximus, but don't be <laughs> oh, developing yeah. the, the gluten in the biscuit. 
It makes it tough when you start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the idea yeah. is you just minimal finger work and let it go. Right. I've seen people yeah. that are going to make biscuit and doing a hard tack. Yeah, I read a recipe one time that said knead it 30, 40 times. I said, you go ruin a biscuit, you knead that yeah. biscuit 30 times. That's right. You go same, same with, with pancakes. Same, you same can do the same with thing it. with pancakes. Exactly. Can, don't overwork a pancake. Yeah. You can make a, Some people think you're supposed to take a blender, or but don't. they're better when you just take a hand mixer, yeah. and it's not really all mixed together perfectly. That's right. That's right. They were cornbread. Don't, it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be just turned into a, a liquefied mush. But yeah, well, I'd get guests on there that specialize in these simple down home. Famous food. guest? No. Local. Oh. Local, 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 local guest? Local guest. Local And they would shrimp. become famous. Shrimps. Shrimp. People can overcook a shrimp and ruin them in a heartbeat. They don't take but a minute or two. You're done with the shrimp. Into a little piece of rubber. It's like eating a gummy worm. It's <laughs> like eating a fishing lure. <laughs> the taste is still yeah. there, but it's. And, shrimp, and scallops. That's you how they invented gummy worms. I think so. Yurka, what kind of restaurant would you have? She says Mexican, Mexican. Kind of restaurant. Well, Why cooking show. We're restaurant. Bag of restaurants now. Okay, I'm sorry. What the, kind of cooking the, show the do you show. have? A Mexican cooking show. That's where the show would take place at. Ah, I need to cook what? Come here. We can't hear you. you got to talk Manudo. louder now. We can't hear you. Manudo. Manudo. <laughs> Are you going out again? <laughs> Burritos, chimichangas. You ain't gonna get anything out of her now. She's laying there laughing. Chicharrones. You got her giggling. Hey, I said that one wrong. Yeah, you were corrected. It's chicharrones or something. I don't know what it was. Chicken and bologna. (laughs) Chicken bones. And bones and bones. See, I grew up on Mama's white beans. That explains a lot. (laughs) I'm thinking thinking cooking. That's the only thing I I got. That's the only thing I got in my mind. White beans. And I didn't like those white beans all that much because I had them all my life. That's right. Mm-hmm. You like navy beans? No, I like. Well, I mean, I like beans. I like beans in general. I don't, never met many beans I didn't like. Yeah. You, you ever ate them, them Air Force beans? <laughs> Air Force beans? Well, you eat them with force air out of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think black beans are the best at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those things will work. I love my beans. Are some beans regional? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the Cubans and the Puerto Ricans eat a lot of black beans. Yeah. They're not raised so much here, but there's some are. But the people around here in our area, lima beans. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, we all love lima yeah, beans. Yeah, lima beans. So, I mean, that's, that's the bean of the South. You see, I always thought lima beans came from Ohio because there's a town in Ohio called Lima. Yeah. Lima. And butter beans. We love them. I love <laughs> so, I'm, I, can, I can eat butter beans like a ice cream. Yeah, so that's right. Now, you like them big ones or the little ones? I like the speckled butter beans. Yeah. Yeah. Butter beans. Yeah. What kind of bean is it in the can when you get like uh, uh, beanie weenies or a pork and beans? Pork and beans, what kind of bean is that? You northern. Reckon? That's a northern bean? Hmm. Not the great northern. No. Yeah. Just a, yeah. They're not great as the southern beans. This is the great southern beans. <laughs> much better than great northern beans. And you're, Luke, you're, you're cooking. I'm Luke, yes. You're cooking, huh? I'm Luke, yes. Luke, <laughs> Luke the guest. Uh, your cooking show would be? I would be the Gizzard Wizard. <laughs> the we would have it. <laughs> yeah. well, gizzards, a different way to cook gizzards and eat them every week. Wow. I'd have like a wizard costume or uh-huh. whatever. Grow my beard long like you had one, about three feet long or whatever. And I'd be the Gizzard Wizard. Bring the gizzard them in again. Uh-huh. Cook them. Yeah, yeah be, be frying them up, be barbecuing them, be yeah. pureeing them and making milkshakes out of them. I mean, anything you can think of them. Gizzard. Have three minute gizzard. Three, three minute, minute yeah. gizzard. Gizzard sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. Gizzard, 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 gizzard. Y'all were talking about the three minute gizzard, and I wondered what it was. And finally asked the lady, and it just they cook them three minutes. for three minutes. And they're yeah. yeah. like a, a more tender. Not quite as well done as gizzard. Gizzard. they're tenderer for gizzard some Gizzard on top of spaghetti. I have eat. I would go on record saying I've eaten yeah. gizzard spaghetti because one time. Not long after I was married, my wife was cooking spaghetti one night and found out she didn't have no hamburger meat. Yeah. So she had a pack of gizzards. So she she turned them into meatballs. Yeah. I mean, she just cooked them in there like meatballs. Yeah. And we had uh, spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, spaghetti and gizzards. <laughs> them was the cheeriest meatballs I ever had. I, I'm sorry. I'm not lying. We had that one night. And we mm-hmm. eat it. It's it pretty good. Some chewy from, uh, spaghetti. But I mm-hmm. get, a lot of people don't eat gizzards. I, I never figured that out in my life. Never, I've never tried them. My wife would just soon die and eat a gizzard. I, you can't even do anything. You can't cajole, trick, talk, Ain't fly, 
pay, do any way to get her to even get her. Not going to happen. So what it, would I, she recognize and she has no reason to say why she won't eat them. She did say, like, I don't like because she's never tried them. And I mean, never tried you them. can't talk well, her into any way to eat them. Well, I've got the same way with mountain oysters. I am not going to try one. I don't well, care. that's different, though. That's something way really different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. If you snuck a, a, a gizzard to your wife, would she recognize it? If oh, she's I'm never, sure she will go pretty chewy. He'd be sleeping on the couch for a week. Oh, if you if you uh, made it nice and mushy, or you know, changed the texture or something. I don't know. Disguise to that as a brownie. Yeah, she won't try goat either. <laughs> she won't eat a goat. I would, I've never had the opportunity, but I'd probably try a goat. Goat's I've, good. I'll tell you. Yeah, if you get good. a chance, go to a Jamaican place and get some curry goat. Oh, that's good. It's goat and rice and beans. Mm. Erica okay. likes it. She's over there. You like curry goat? Oh, you yeah. like a Cheshire? Yeah. You like cabrito? I do too. Cabrito, cabrito. Which is a young goat that's been barbecued. Oh, that's How do you like his Spanish? Has he, he, he got good Spanish? No. Bad. <laughs> I don't roll my R's. <laughs> Ruffles have ridges. Do you do, when they cook goat, is it only barbecue or they cook it otherwise? Well, they otherwise. cook it always. Stew it. The, uh, curry goat is like a stew. It's like yeah. a stew. But some of them you'll eat it and it'll be real spicy. But they eat little goats. They eat the real young ones. Yeah, right. you don't eat the old goats. Come here, you old goat. I'm going <laughs> to eat you. <laughs> Goodness. Goat. You ever, have you ate goat before, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. What? I've had a lot of goat milk. Oh, you were you in, in Thailand or somewhere. So they'll probably, 75, you probably ate. I ate tell them what kind of critter you ate over there. 75% of the population of the world yeah. eats goat right. and drinks goat milk yeah. regularly uh-huh. and we're 75 percent 75 percent seriously yeah i, I feel yeah. like i'm in the minority yeah we, we don't are. have to do that we'll have to, I'll, i'm gonna make a point in my life to get you some curry um, goat never had no goat i had some shoat but you never see, had no goat did you see curry goat curry Ooh. curry well i good. guess it's good, good. To, well we're gonna have to go on out go on out here we got to get going uh, we're out of time again for this week. Appreciate y'all listening to us, and we'll see you on the radio next time. WFLN in Arkadelphia, Florida. 14 a.m. Radio down.